Hey everyone, it's Garfi from Taylor Painters. Uh, I've got a very special video for you today. It's the new Kill Team expansion, Pariah Nexus. Games Workshop kindly sent this over to me early, so I'm, I'm actually filming this a couple of weeks before it's actually released to the public. Um, I'm not sure when I'll be posting it, I, because I haven't had the email yet, but I suspect it will be when pre-orders go up, so it'll be a week before it's available. Uh, this is Space Marines versus Necrons. It's an expansion to Kill Team. I don't know anything about Kill Team. It's not a game system I follow really, uh, but I do paint box games. So if you've seen my stuff on uh, Taylor Painters, you've seen I've recently finished the Indomitus box set completely, and I'm currently painting the Wrath and Rapture box set which is really fun, um, featuring uh, Slanesh Demons and Corn Demons. But I'm going to have a look at this. Uh, this is my first look. Uh, I'm going to open it up for you guys here and have a look, see what it's all about. Uh, as you can see on the front, we've got some amazing box art. Uh, this is like new artwork specifically for this box, featuring the Heavy Intercessors and the Necron Flayed Ones. We can also see the two characters included. Uh, let's have a look at the back of the box. Okay, so this is an expansion, so I s we'll get into what's included, but there is a, a book included, as well as obviously the board, some terrain pieces. I mean, using terrain loosely, because these are more like doorways and barricades, uh, rather than full-blown terrain. Uh, you get the board, the mo you get all the models pictured. Uh, quite a low model count, but they are quite expensive models. Um, if you used to buy these separately, they're going to cost £35, £22.50, £20, something like that. Um, so, yes, that's what that is. So... That's the back of the box, two or more players, playtime approximately 45 minutes per session, ages 12 plus. We can see here included is a 112 page Kill Team Prior Nexus book, hopefully includes the rules, we'll find out. Uh, 22 by 30 inch double sided game board, Prior Nexus scenery, two sets of 17 objective cards, Ultramarine infantry transfer sheet. Interesting. So just Ultramarines, you won't get, like Indomitus, you've got Dark Angels, Blood Angels, um, Space Wolves, but it looks like here we might only get Ultramarines. We'll delve into that and have a look. Uh, the models are Space Marine Captain with Master Crafted Heavy Bolt Rifle, five Space Marine Heavy Intercessors, a Necron Chronomancer, which is an amazing model, uh, and five Necron Flayed Ones. Um, I think this is the third iteration of Flayed Ones, um, or is it the second? Either way, they've been due an update for quite some time, so I'm excited to get these, paint them, and yeah, it's going to be great. So, let's open the box. Love this, love this bit. This is so good. Interestingly, the box turned up without cellophane on it. I don't know if that's just an early review sample or if they'll all be like that. Um, I imagine it could be a way of reducing like throwaway plastic. It would be interesting to see that, but obviously then it leaves it more open to being tamper proof. So maybe they'll just have a piece of tape or something, but it'll be interesting to see what other people get with theirs. But in, this is a pull out tray. So inside the box is nothing else. That's just that, so we'll get rid of that. And then we have the sprues inside, and we'll start with the Necrons, I think. So, let's move that to the side. Here we have the flayed ones, and I think it's just this one small sprue. Which isn't particularly a piece of fluff or something. Big. But there's a hell of a lot of components on there. Some real layered detail with rib cages and layers of skin. Yeah, that's going to be 
that's going to be quite interesting. Um, and then the other Necron is the Chronomancer. He has two sprues. Um, and he's really detailed as well. And he includes three different heads. So we can see here a choice of three heads, but they're really similar. There's not that much difference apart from the beards, really. So yeah, that's an interesting choice. Um, any extra options on there? No, pretty, pretty good. What's that? Um, and we have the Space Marine Captain uh, in Gravis armor, and he is. Um, he doesn't have any options. So he is one helmet, no weapon like magazine, drum, mag, or anything like that options. Yeah, okay. He's cool though. I've got some Gravis Marines, so it's a, a, a nice addition to my Dark Angels. This is a hefty sprue. This is seriously hefty. So a nice big sprue for five models, and the options are pretty immense by the looks of it. So we've got six, seven helmeted heads, no, more, eight, nine, two bare heads here, um, weapon wise we have one, two, three, four, five, six, heavy seven, wow, why do they give, it is only five models, so it must be for different poses. We'll have a look at the uh, build instructions in a second to see what that's about. Is there another head there? That's insane. Okay. Um, and then you have your heavy bolter there as well. So that's good. Um, yeah, plenty of options to build them. So I guess if you get two sprues, maybe you can make two different builds out of each one so they all look different maybe that would be good we've got pouches different style magazines marksman uh marksman like trinkets yes yeah, quite cool options uh plain shoulder pads but they are separate so you can upgrade those to uh, upgrade sprue chapter specific ones if you wish to. Cool, so that's that sprue. Then we have the terrain pieces for the Necrons. Uh, this looks like it's two sprues which are identical um, and they're all hollow. The doors do look to be reversible so they're detailed on both sides um, but yeah all of this is the same. These are glue together so these are single pieces yeah i think with these it'll be a case of spray them silver wash them dry brush them maybe use the airbrush to do a bit of a glow effect but that's all these are going to get i suspect I wonder if they're compatible with lego <laughs> um so yeah that's that's interesting uh, obviously you're going to need these to play the expansion um, quite heavy. I think most of the plastic's there, to be honest. It's cool. Right, back to the box. Kill team. So we get this artwork, same as the box art, but in um, a monotone or duotone because it's blue and black and white. That's cool. Inside here, we get our bases. Forty mil bases. Some 32 mil bases. I think that's it. Yeah, not many models in the set, um, but some quite nice models all the same. Pack of cards, we'll have a look at those in a minute. I guess we'll have a look at the, ah, here we go. 
here's the transfers. So you get, well, I've got two Ultramoon transfers. I don't know if I'm meant to have two or if that's a mistake. So I have two. I'm not going to use them because I collect Dark Angels. Uh, let's put that out to one side. Let's have a look at the boards. So these are in shrink wrap. So it might just be that my box wasn't and everyone else still gets the shrink wrap. So get rid of that. And oh, so this is all one piece. Well, it looks a bit. Just move some stuff out of the way. This is all one piece. And it's quite big. It's a nice area to play on. Um, yeah, so these are solid walls, these are the walkways. I imagine, I don't know, that might be a, an area you can't walk on maybe, or maybe it is. Yeah, it would be. It just looks like it might be like a green lava or some kind of toxic. But no, I think it, hey, Space Marines are in heavy armor, they can walk over anything. Um, yeah, that's cool. Okay, is it reversible? Oh, it is reversible, just not my camera. So professional, right? Uh, there's the uh, there's the other side. That's quite cool. So you get a different area to play on. That's good for variety and keeping things interesting. Let's get that out of the way. Cool. That's a nice board. Um, let's look at the book. Yet yeah. doesn't seem to be any instructions to assemble the models. Maybe they're in the book. Yes, you can watch me struggle with cellophane. Come on, come on. How long is it gonna take? Wow, this is... Do I use the teeth? Come on, never surrender, there we go. <laughs> and we're in. So let's get that out of the way. Wow, okay. I think it's the excitement, I can't open it. Oh, there's the instructions, I can see them in the back. That's handy. So you, open, you take the telephone off and you get two, two books. So that's great. Um, so let's have a look at this first. So yeah, here we go, two options. So that's the same model with two different builds. By the looks of it, you get seven 40 mil bases. So that's the two characters and five heavy intercessors and these are actually 28 mil bases, not 32, so that's cool. So that's the captain, straight build, no options. Heavy intercessors, so you've got two types, you have to choose. That's steps three, that's steps four, so you do two, and then you switch to step three to build him. Step four to build this guy, and then there's a choice of heads for step four. Step five shows you the heavy bolter marine who can also make either that or a heavy intercessor. He's a heavy intercessor gunner. Um, and that looks like you have a choice of drum mags for number five, if you go for the one with the heavy bolt rifle. Uh, and then you go back to five to carry on building, adding the shoulder pads, backpack. Choice of heads, again. So the heads are identical. So why would you have a choice of heads? A11, A22. A11, A22. There it is. Oh, okay, so he's missing a cheek piece. I don't know if that's focusing so small, but um, I guess that means he, he can turn his head uh, so you can lock that in in a different position so the cheek piece doesn't obstruct the collar. That's good. Okay, so that's why there's so many heads. Right, that makes sense, that makes sense. Cool. Um, yeah, lots of different drum mags, so no idea what they are in the rules. Uh, I, may, I may just pick which looks coolest for mine. Um, so yeah, then you've got number six to build. He's a straight up guy. Uh, there's no 
the options are included in the steps, so that's different mags, different head. Uh, same with seven, the only choices are the heads and the magazines. And same with eight. Okay, that's interesting. So there's plenty of variety in building them by the looks of it. It's really interesting though, they give you two different heads instead of a ball socket where you can turn the head. Is the clearance so bad in there that they have to chip away at a cheek and then supply that to you? That's, that's interesting. And then you get all these accessories, which are uh, any marine player is going to have multiples of purity seals, holsters, and bits and pieces. But these are new to these. They've got little pouches and stuff, but it is what it is. It's kind of cool. Um, then we have the Chronomancer, which is a really cool model. Definitely looks like you're going to have to paint him not glued to the base because you're going to want to get inside all those in inside tendrils. Easy to reach. Um, there's the choice of three heads I noticed on the sprue, which all look pretty much similar. And then you've got the flayed ones. You, here's the uh, really fiddly, tiny little pieces, which is good. Um, no options on these. It's just 11, 12A, B, yeah, doesn't seem to be any options for those. Those are just stock builds. But I guess you can chop the pegs off the arms and or are they ball jointed? They actually might look like they're ball jointed. So you could like move the arms around and get some different poses. That's cool. And that's, that's all the models. And then the only assembly for the train are these two induction diodes. And the other ones are called quantum nodes, not Lego bricks. Cool. So that's the instruction manual. Then we get the actual uh, expansion book. So this is Prior Nexus, Skirmish Combat in Close Confines. So my game is Warhammer Catacombs, uh, Warcry Catacombs, and that included a rule book and the new Catacombs book. So this is its 40k equivalent. It even looks like you're fighting in a catacomb, you know, in a dungeon or something, but a sci-fi version. So I'm interested to see if it actually has the rules of the game in here. Because that's a misstep, if you ask me. Now, many people probably already have the rules. But if you've got to buy the rule book separately... So this is all the background, which is quite interesting. I'll enjoy reading this. The art is really cool. Some Mark Seven Marines. Translo Translocum Chamber. So is this the rules? Door, induction, diodes, quantum nodes. Domain the dead. I mean, maybe the rules are free to download or something like that. I'd, I'll have to double check that. Like I say, I'm new to kill team but not including a rule book they must have the rules ultra this section contains rules for playing missions in indoor environments called ultra close confines included within kill zone prior nexus this is a double-sided game board featuring two of these environments when playing a mission on these game boards or any other indoor boards found in other kill team products players should use the rules found here okay choke points, tactics, and then straight into the mission. Am I missing something here? There's no, no rules. I know it's an expansion, you wouldn't expect it to have the rules, but like Warcry did include the rules in catacombs. Additional rules. Commanders. Uh, this is going to add a lot of depth to existing um, kill, team, kill team players. They're going to get a whole new way to play their games uh, on a new on two new boards with new terrain and new models. Um, this is also an opportunity to get these models earlier before they're released to the gen uh, like 
available separately. So here's the rules for the Adeptus Astartes. So you get these rules, but how do you actually play the game? Captain in Terminator armor. There's quite a lot here. Not necessarily Hmm. Judicia. So these might be actually some of the new models that came out with Watchmaster. Intercessor, Salt Intercessor. So these might be giving you new rules for Eliminators, that were models that came out with um, Indomitus. Yeah, interesting. Blade Guard veterans are here. Uh, the, all the points per model, so that's interesting. And then this is the Necron section of the book, I guess. Okay. Overlord, Plasmancer, Psychomancer. Oops. Chronomancer, Royal Warden, Technomancer. There's the flayed ones. Leech Guard. Cool, okay. Well, that's everything including the book. I'm going to be writing up some notes uh, in my written review on towerpainters.com. So uh, I'm going to check out things like uh, the rule book. Is it something that you can download for free, like Age of Sigma rules were? Maybe the core rules that aren't included, like maybe they didn't include them because you got them as well. Uh, if not, I'll find out if the rule book's available, if you can buy it separately, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's that's interesting. So I can't jump in and play a game straight away by the looks of it. But we'll see. Okay. Hey everyone, this is uh, Future Garfi talking to you from the uh, edit-in of the video. Um, I've been thinking about this uh, non, not included rule book, and it actually makes a lot of sense not to include it. Uh, so when Warhammer Catacombs, Warcry Catacombs came out, the rule book was included, and quite a few people were annoyed that they were paying £125 for the game that included the rule book because they already had it. So Kill Team uh, Prime Nexus is £95. So effectively, it's minus the price of the rule book. So for someone like me who's new to it, you can spend your £95 and then add your rule book to it, which is £25. Or if you buy the digital version, it's £16.99, then that's uh, cheaper than having to add it to the box and pay £125. So I actually think it's quite a good idea that Games Workshop have chosen to leave the rule book out so people can have the choice of adding it whether it's a digital version or a hardback version, a paperback version, and then you know you can tailor it yourself. You're not forced to get buy this expansion and end up with two rule books if you've already owned the rule book. So all in all, I think it's a good idea. Um, I just wanted to add that to the video. So okay, back to the end of the video. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, like I said, big thank you to Games Workshop for sending this my way to have a look at. Um, be sure to follow me on. Tale of Painters, and I'm on Twitter as Garfi Twit. I'm on Instagram as Garfi Graham. And the reason why is I'm going to be working my way through all of these models. I'm going to be painting them up. I've got tutorials on my paint schemes on there, so you can check those out. Um, yeah, there's just going to be loads of Kill Team content on the Tale of Painters blog for the next few weeks while I work through all of this stuff. So be sure to check it out. Uh, thanks for watching this video. If you give it a like, maybe subscribe if you like this type of thing. Um, and I'll try and make some more videos. Thank you very much. Cheers. Goodbye.